Good use of negative space. Nice composition. Karina has real talent. Did you pay for her class, Mrs. Audrey? She find her happiness. Gracias. Karina will have a great portfolio when she applies for art school. Oh, oh, oh. oh Gilda. Oh, I am so sorry. I'll pay for it. It'll be Karina's first sale. OK. <laughs> I see you tomorrow, Mrs. Audrey. You could really notice. The doctor said the scars would be invisible. Next time you're thinking about cosmetic surgery, just ask me first. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my God! Oh! oh. oh. We got a pedestrian with a skull fracture. The door was wide open when my guys got up here, then they found her. Her name's Audrey Lortel, 42. This is a work number for the husband. Okay. We're gonna need a canvas of all the surrounding buildings. Anybody that has a view onto this terrace. Uh, it feels like a bag of broken china. Looks like they started throwing rocks at her over there, cornered her back here. One direct hit would have put her down. Any one of these tools would have done the job a whole lot quicker, not to mention the 10-story drop. Maybe quick wasn't the point. I count over 30 major contusions on her head, face, and upper torso. Most were inflicted post-mortem. Overkill. Someone was venting. They're practicing their fastball. I've never seen this MO before. I have. In Pakistan, in the tribal areas, the man I saw killed was an opium addict. Dope head stoned to death. Some mullahs have a sense of humor. Well, I seem to remember some stonings in the Bible, too. Thanks. Her husband, what's his story? Uh, he was at his office downtown when we notified him. He was appropriately upset. His co-workers confirmed that he was there all afternoon. Oh. Well, what about his religious background? Well, we don't really have a religion. We haven't been to church in years. Sundays were for being with our kids. Do you have any neighbors or friends with strong religious views? I don't really see your point. Audrey was very accepting of all people. You're waiting for something? My son. He's driving down from Odeonda. He goes to college there. Did Mrs. Lortel have any enemies? No. Audrey was a wonderful mother, a great wife. She owned an art gallery. Doesn't really make any sense. We understand, Mr. Lortel. When was the last time you spoke to her? This morning, around uh, 11. How did she sound? A little stressed. There was some crisis at the gallery. Your housekeeper said that your wife came here at 12. Well, it doesn't sound like Audrey. It was all I could do to tear her away from the place. I'm ready, Dad. How long before we can move back in? It'll be a couple of days. We'll give you a call. Jason. Oh, God. Mom's dead. We are so glad you're here. <laughs> It seemed like a big crisis yesterday, but now I, I can't believe Audrey just like that. Okay, let's just deal with yesterday. Maybe you noticed there's no art in the art gallery. Yeah, if you say so. We were going to open Konstantin Bozinski's new show tomorrow night. Yesterday morning before Audrey came in, Konstantin came and tore down all his paintings. What was his beef? He kept saying she was a child playing with dynamite. The, the dynamite? Is that him? He's Albanian and an artist, handle with care. She called him when she came in. They got into it. I think he hung up on her. Then she told me the show was canceled and she was going home. Fatima's jihad. He's an Albanian Muslim, yeah? I think so. Religious dynamite. I liked Audrey. She was a nice lady. I took my paintings away because I decide they're no good. I think they're pretty good. Look, you told Audrey she was a child playing with dynamite. My partner thinks you're the dynamite, but I think it might be your paintings. Like this one, Fatima's Jihad, the prophet's daughter and her struggle. It's against the oppression of women in some Muslim countries. It's not the religion, it's men. Some ignorant men who twist the religion to keep women down. Didn't some artists in Europe get killed for saying the same thing? So, this America, I can say anything, right? You know how she was killed? Rocks. Lots of them. Somebody didn't want her showing your paintings, right? I warned her. 
But she's safe. We cancels the show. The brutes win. She was so American. What brutes are we talking about? They own an Albanian bakery in the Bronx. They say cancels the show, or they cancel me. The Bureau's had Vasic at this bakery under surveillance for the past six months. Why are you talking to Vasic? We're investigating threats against an artist whose paintings might be considered offensive to Muslims. What, those threats are credible? Yeah, we think so. We got a dead art gallery on it. We're looking at Vasic for interstate weapons trafficking. Uh, you've been doing surveillance 24-7? Yeah. You got a 302 for yesterday? Yeah. What's the uh, name of your murder victim? Audrey Lortel, L-O-R-T-E-L-L. -L. Well, our bakery crew's present and accounted for. Our alibi holds up for now. Lortel Audrey on Green Street? Mm-hmm. Look at all those entries. These are wiretap logs and email surveillance on Audrey Lortel. You have wiretap warrants for her? We don't need warrants. We've got a national security letter out on her. How do, how do you figure she's a security threat? Your murder victim, Ms. Lortel, is suspected of giving material support to a terrorist organization. The NSA automatically monitors calls to and from the U.S. The system sends up a flare whenever certain keywords are used. A national security letter is issued, callers are put on a watch list, and all their communications get recorded. Can we hear the call that landed Audrey Lotel on the watch list? It was two months ago, from her cell phone to a number in Germany. It's a work in progress, but Fatima's jihad will make people take notice. I trust your judgment, Audrey. Jihad, is that the key word that sent the flare up? That's how the program is designed to work. Fatima Jihad is the name of a painting done by an artist who was represented by Mrs. Lortel. But we also have her using the word suicide bomber in another conversation. That's the name of another painting by the same artist. Mind if I listen to this? Yeah, it's read only, no copy. The guy in Germany? He's probably in our collector. Yeah, 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 well, obviously, somebody goofed. Uh, if we'd known the context of the call. I gotta take this, excuse me. Somebody goofed? No wonder they call it a secret program. Not a total waste. Check this out. I called a Constantine five days before she died. You can't charm me anymore, Constantine. I used to be weak, but now I... I don't make you weak right now. Shh. Matthew's in the next room. I'll see you tomorrow at the gallery. Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out the context of that. The question is, did the husband figure it out? At that point of her life, Audrey needed the attention of a younger man. I'm not sure I can be that forgiving. 22 years of marriage, a lot happens. And it keeps happening, right? How could you ever trust her again? I did. I did trust her. Look, I know what you're trying to do, but I did not murder my wife. Those last couple of months we had together were good. We felt like a family, a happy family. Police, nobody move. Hey, easy, cowboy. Listen up. We're looking for a kid named Jason Lortel. He's from the college. Whoa, whoa, don't move. Jason, down on the ground. Down on the ground, now. I meant like this. Care to comment? React. Maybe shed a tear for your poor mother. Look, whoever did this couldn't help but step in the blood. We're gonna find that on your shoes, aren't we? What happened? You came home, what, maybe, maybe you didn't expect your mother to be there. You were looking for dope money, right? That's why you dropped down. I'm not a druggie. Come on, Jason. We found you living with a bunch of tweakers. You wouldn't understand. Try us. Still nothing to say about your mother. She committed adultery. She destroyed herself. What, you're saying she had it coming? We all have it coming. 